What is up, San Antonio? What's up, Team Octane? Um, today, we're gonna talk about some exercises not to neglect. So I hope you got your popcorn ready. We're gonna talk about um, training this area of the core. That's why um, you know I wanna show you some of those muscles that we're talking about, because a lot of times when we're doing crunches, we're always focusing on this area right here, the uh, rectus abdominis. But today, on this um, video, we're gonna talk about another area that's real important to maintain a nice flat stomach and I'm um, also very functional, I'm gonna take a lot of pressure off your back. So um, without further ado, and of course I'm gonna tell you a couple exercises, my favorite exercises that I like to do that's really gonna work on that area. So we're gonna talk specifically about the transverse abdominis. Now that, that area is the one that comes, you know, right here across the middle, and this is, I hope you can see it, I'm not sure if the lighting is good enough, but um, this is an area that I love to be sore when I and the reason I love it to be sore is for a couple reasons when it's sore it's because I'm I just probably did some sprints that's one of my favorite exercises to do to really work this area right here the things that are really sore when I'm doing those sprints are typically my abs you know my legs yes they're a little bit sore I mean I'm definitely trying to run as fast as, my, as I can I'm not trying to you know really focus on my core however that area tends to really um, get sore in the in the next couple days so Needless to say, um, it, it, I feel like it's a very functional area, very important area that I need to be working. So that's one of the beautiful exercises you definitely can do. Doing a little bit of research on that, you know I love my research. Um, I, I never want it to be just my opinion you know, versus someone else's. Um, online, you know, and I, I checked about different resources, you know, I'm on the databases, but this is an area that's gonna help keep your stomach real flat. That actually, um, you know, to keep everything in real, real tight so that Transverse abdominis is gonna be really important if you're wanting to work your core, if you wanna have a flat stomach. So, um, you know, I'll definitely show you some exercises that are gonna help work on that. It's also a very deep part of your core. So it's actually a layer below the obliques. And, um, you know, when I was doing a bunch of sports-specific training before, you know, I, I learned that it's a lot easier to maintain a flat stomach when you make sure to include that deep core training, in addition to some of those superficial, you know, crunches and so forth, that flat stomach will maintain a lot longer, a lot easier without even trying. I, I know I had actually got away from my sports specific training for a couple months and my stomach was still in really good shape. And that's with doing, making sure you're working those deep parts of your core. So it also takes um, stress off your lower back. So I know that that's an area that a lot of people, you know, they come in, that back problem, they've been working out here at Octane Athletic Performance here in the medical center, you know, for a little while, and they'll say, my back pain went away. You know, I remember a lady not too long ago, she's a very sweet lady. Um, she was a little intimidated to come work out here. You know, she's in her late 50s, at least at that point. Um, and she came in, she's like, I'm a little bit intimidated to work out with you guys, but, um, you know, I want to give it a shot. and. After a couple weeks, her back pain went away. So that's because we really focus on doing a core training and all we do. So um, I, I mentioned the the uh, sprint is one of my favorite exercises to really developing that lean core. I'm going to show you a couple other exercises, but I want you to know that that's one, one, of the, uh, one of the ones I want you to focus on. Now, the other one is going to be with my trusty bands. Now, that's going to be a lift. You know, so we're going to be, you can be right here. Actually, I'm grab a little bit lower on this band. And then you're just going to be lifting up right here. Now that exercise right there, a couple things that I'm doing that exercise that I'm real, real um, controlled on the way back down and I can go a little bit fast up, but you wanna make sure that I have control doing that exercise. Now that's because we did talk about the back side of the core and I wanna make sure you're doing it in a very safe way. If you just start going real fast both ways, then you're not gonna be, um, you're gonna put yourself at risk for injury and also you could hurt some of the muscles in your back. Um, and I speak of that from personal experience. I did that when I was in my early 20s. So make sure you have really good control when you're doing that. Of course, you know, look to a professional. If you can, a good qualified professional. Um, if you can, if not, come over to Octane. We'd love for you to work out with us. Uh, but that's one of my, my favorite exercises. And uh, you know, you definitely wanna be working both sides. One of the things I love to do is I love to do uh, three sets of 15. You know, when I'm doing core exercise, I like to keep the reps a little higher. So 15 to 20 reps is a good range when you're working those core exercises and you can get 15 one way, then bring it across 15 the other way. The other thing I see when, uh, the other thing I see a lot when we're doing this exercise with people is that, um, you know, people tend to bend a lot here and then come up. Now we wanna make sure you keep that chest up and you're gonna be, 
You know, I'm, so I'm looking straight ahead at the camera, you know, looking straight ahead when I'm doing this exercise and that's gonna, again, work those muscles I wanna target and not my lower back. There's times where you do wanna work your lower back, this is not one of them, okay? And the third exercise I love to do is, is a partner exercise. I don't have my partner here right now, but a ball exercise. You have the ball right here, roll low, and then you throw that, that ball to your partner. So that's a great one to do. Very similar movement. It's a little more dynamic because you do have a partner throwing the ball back to you and you catch roll low, then you throw it to the partner. So it's, those are a couple of my favorite exercises. The reason I like these ones too is because you use your legs, you use your upper body and your core. You know, the core is the main area we're working on. The core is the main area to work on, but I want to make sure that I'm here using my legs. My legs are a little bit bent, and then when I come up, my legs straight. So I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that on my glutes, and I'm feeling it on my arms. A great core exercise. So those are three that you can focus on really to work that transverse abdominis. It's going to help you get your, your stomach flat. And, you know, if you haven't tried it, try the exercise out. And as always, you know, I want you guys to get a good workout today. Dominate your workout. If you already, if you work out in the morning, get a good night's rest. And let's get in the morning, baby. Game day. You'll have a great day. Thank you.